I am Ashley Pfeiffer. I am the maker behind Stamped AF. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Winnipeg, Manitoba in Canada. If you live anywhere within the great country of Canada and do not yet have a demonstrator, I would be so happy to earn your business. Uh, you can find everything you need to know at stampedaf.ca and um, if there's something that you don't find there, just feel free to send me an email at stampedaf at gmail.com. And without further ado, let's get our craft on. So this week we are going to make a fun lemony bright card, um, but we're going to do it with limes. And we are going to use the Lemon Zest Sweet, uh, the stamp set and the punch and we are going to use brush oak. So I have actually gone ahead and made some green with both my yellow and Prussian blue. So let's get this going. First off, we are going to grab our clear embossing powder and our Versamark. And we are going to stamp our lines. So I've got my D block there, I will use a C block. No science to this, just stamp where you'd like to. can see I'm moving fairly quick. I want to get my embossing powder on there. Versamark does give you a good long time to get it on, but and one more in that upper corner somewhere. Nope. One more in that upper corner somewhere. Okay, and that's that. You will find this is a super quick card to make. This will be a nice, short and sweet video. That's that. It will look a little bit different than this card because I was able to just put my brush out on using the powder. This time it's going to be a little different. Also not the limiest color. I was hoping for more of a lemon lime twist kind of green, but that's okay. Just make sure you get it in every little nook and cranny. We're gonna add a bit more yellow. There we go. You could always use re-inker instead of the mixed brush -o for this, but I wanted to experiment and make my own color. So that's done. And the next thing we are gonna do, if you can see on this card, there are some gorgeous little splatters. And the way I achieved that was with my stamp and write markers. So I will grab couple of different 
greens. And I don't have all of the Stampin' Write markers yet, so these won't necessarily be current colors, but I just want you to get the gist of what I'm doing here. So um, basically we're spritzing. Uh, this is an old color, green galore. So just take that and pull it against the cap and you can get some spritz and you can actually pick up any ink that comes out with the marker tip. I don't know what went where. This is Gable Green, Green Galore. This one is a much brighter color. I do have Lemon Lime Twist, but I don't know that it would show up very well on here. And then I have Emerald Envy. Also, <laughs> I don't really want to risk ruining my current colors, so that's why I'm using these older colors. So that's good. We could do a bit of yo-yo yellow on there. that for a few minutes to set. I'm actually going to spritz this a little bit. That's too much. And I've got no paper towel. Yes, I do. So that's better. If you find that you're spritzing a lot in one color, I would recommend putting it in a spritzer. So we've got a little black reinker here with a lot of water. Okay, so we are going to find a nice green and I think I will do lemon lime twist for this. I'm gonna find a nice piece of fresh cardstock that doesn't have a whole bunch of patterns in it. Grab the lemon zest punch, the lemon builder punch. And I think we will use that for, we only need one leaf. with Granny Apple Green and just sponge the edge just a little bit. I want a very subtle shadow on here. And on the leaf, which will go something like that, we just want it up down here and at the bottom. Oops. Okay, so there's that. Versamark and our sentiment. So we are going to do life short again. If I could find it. <laughs> oh, it 
it's stuck over here. So we'll mount that on this little block right here. I'm gonna grab my white embossing powder now. Now, I just realized that when I shaded this the first time, I had already embossed, so I'm hoping it's not going to stick to the shading that I just did. So I'm gonna try and steer clear of that part. Not bad. the heat tool. Okay, and I want to add just a little bit of lemon lime twist here just to bring in the color of this line. So I will grab my sponge dauber for lemon lime twist. Ink it up. And you can see on this card, it's a little bit brighter around the lemons. I did do some extra water coloring there. So this time we'll do a sponge dauber instead of painting. Okay, we'll put some dimensionals on the back of our line. Actually, first we are going to put a couple of glue dots. I wanna figure out where my ribbon is going before I adhere my dimensionals. tend to just go kind of in a zigzag pattern. Something like that. And then for the gold trim, kind of just do a little figure eight. Pardon my arm. Put it on a glue dot or two. And just stick that down so you can see both sides of it. Bonus, we even got an end in there. Just gonna turn this so that we can see the good side. Okay, and now we are ready to put our dimensionals on. Uh, we'll do three. So the final step is going to be adding this to a card base, and I know this is a lot of green, but it just kind of makes it pop. And as my final message to you, I would like to invite those that live in Canada to share my video, share it to your Facebook page or, well, yeah, your Facebook feed. Um, share it however you see fit, whether that's the link in an email or on Facebook or whatever. And comment on my video that you have shared it, liked it and shared it, and I will enter you to win a prize. And said prize will be announced in my video next week. And if this is something that uh, is successful this coming week, then it is something I would like to do on a weekly basis. So 
please consider doing that if you don't already subscribe hit that big subscribe button below give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video and please share and be sure to comment that you have shared it and I will enter your name into the draw so I thank you for popping in and making this card with me and I hope you enjoyed it and if you live in Canada and do not have the supplies that you need to make these cards then please contact me or feel free to shop in my 24-7 online store. And uh, if you use a host code, I will give you a nice little gift. Current host code is always on my website. So thank you for watching and we'll see you soon, friends. Bye.